Awesome. All right. We're down to your last two comics. Ladies and gentlemen, your next guy. Fucking funny as shit. I love this dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Maxwell. All right, everybody. The home stretch. How's everybody feeling? Good? Fuck yeah, hell yeah. Everybody drinking? Yeah! Woo! But that was not enough people to warrant how loud those other two people were screaming. Rock on! <laughs> Rock on, brother. He's been drinking. You're the right kind of drunk right now, aren't you? Like, you don't pose a threat, but you're definitely gonna be jovial on the car ride home. You're like, no, 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 do this song up. Sweet home, Alabama. This is my song! Screaming from the... I love that kind of dude. I was that kind of dude. I am that kind of dude. I just can't be that kind of dude that often anymore. Because I used to do drugs a ton. And let's face it, you got to be pretty fucked up to be like that guy. Am I right? I'm asking you personally. You're pretty fucked up, right? Yeah. I just couldn't do it anymore. It made life very difficult for me. Things you should always be able to do. I was having a real fucking hard time with Like beating off. That's when you know the drugs have gotten in the way. I just get home from work one day and I'd be like, you know what? It's been a bad day. I'm gonna spend ten minutes on myself, you know? Some people go and get like, you know, the haircut. Clearly I'm not doing that. <laughs> go get like a, you know, a straight razor shave. Nah, I don't think so. But touch myself. It's free. I ain't gotta pay for bandwidth. Get it from the neighbors. But you know, like you're really messed up, so as you're going at it. All of a sudden, you start to realize that you've lost track of where you are. Somewhere down the rabbit hole, like Kate Beckinsale took a left. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you're like, oh wait, fuck. I had a map, shit. All right, let's get back on track here. Let's see, what was I thinking about? All right, Kate Beckinsale, fighting off vampires in a leather suit. All right, that's about right. Wait, I haven't been home for a family reunion in years. No, track, back on track, back on track. I bet my grandma's missing me. You know what I'm missing? Her sweet potato pie. Mm. <laughs> and then it doesn't take me very long. Oh God, sweet potato pie. <laughs> Man, you can never go back to a family reunion. Ridiculous. Let's take a poll here. I'm just curious. Uh, over, uh, Cremation and burial. Who, who is gonna, who wants to get buried? I do. One dude, okay, who wants to get cremated? Woo! Woo! All right, and the rest of you, I wasn't like giving you an ultimatum. It wasn't like one or the other. You're, you can chime in on whatever you want. Uh, cremation is the correct answer, that's right. Because if I look at most of the people that walk around this city, we're gonna run out of fucking room really fast, all right? Cremation, and not only is it practical, but it's also cheap. And I try to tell my grandma this. I'm like, no, you just gotta burn me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna be dead. I'm not gonna care. She said, no grandson of mine is gonna have his body burnt. You're too handsome. I'm gonna have an open casket. We all wanna go and cry. And I thought, well, that's disgusting, grandma. You put way too much thought into my funeral. <laughs> and I don't care what she thinks. Because frankly, she's gonna die first. <laughs> and then we're gonna cremate her. <laughs> but let's say you like, on a whim. I do die first, Grandma, all right? I don't care about the funeral because I'm dead. And so if you want to spend the money, that's fine. But like to bury somebody, it costs like $6,000, all right? To burn somebody, like a buck fifty. Like some charcoal briquettes. You can keep me in there, you can get hot dogs later on. But if you really want to spend the money, then go out and buy that casket. Go out and buy that $6,000 casket that you just have to have. Then all you gotta do is put me in it, put a bunch of flowers and stuff around it, take me to like Lake Michigan, and push me out, set me on fire. It was good enough for Braveheart. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm quite a few steps away from my Scottish heritage. I think it's like a, it's very impressive that I've gone that far. But you gotta do it in something like Lake Michigan. You couldn't do that like out here in the ocean, because then you start hitting a few waves and my pocket falls out and <laughs> floats along. I suppose. Uh, my grandma started saying something that it's uh, I, I, 
I, we, somehow we got on the topic of like headstones. Like, why would anyone pay for all these things? Like, how big they are? It's ridiculous. Like, it's, they're big afterlife penises that a lot of these guys, like in the Hollywood cemetery, have. Then there's some of these that are so big that they. No, I was stoned when I was walking through Hollywood cemetery. So follow me here. They were so big that they they looked to defy the gravity of the earth. You know what I mean? Like it was, might be holding it down. And so I started thinking about this more and more and more. And I thought, like, what if that is exactly what they're doing? <laughs> what if there are like 10 billion things around the planet, like Easter Island, all those big statues, Egyptians with the pyramids, the Celtics with the uh, Stonehenge? What if they are like the original stewards of the earth? You know? And then God one day got drunk and knocked the earth like some asshole at like a pool hall. He's like, dude, we're fucking playing here! And then it gets knocked off. That's why our axis is all messed up. So everyone's like running around putting heavy shit just to counteract. Pyramid there! <laughs> Big statue. That's stupid. <sighs> Let's see, that's cremation. Um, oh, when I was there, I had a friend of mine. Uh, I longboard. It's like skateboarding, but not as cool. Uh, you don't get to do any kickflips or stuff. People will still ask you to do them. You won't be able to. But you can go really fast down steep hills. And a buddy of mine's like, dude, you should bring it out here. You're going to love riding your longboard out here. I went out there. You could just start digging a hole at the bottom of the hill. I'll go down, and we can just end the ceremony right there. <laughs> Crack my head halfway down. All you got to do is put me back on my board, skip me down, my head bouncing off the fucking street as you go. Roll me right into the hole. It was steep, right? <laughs> Am I right, folks? It was steep. My thighs hurt from walking up and down. All right, well, I'll leave you guys on this because I really feel bad that I did that to all of you. Um, back in the 80s, uh, it was really popular for, like, rock bands to call, like, a vagina a pie. You know, like, she's my chili pie. Ooh, I'm going to get a slice of that pie. But I think that really still applies today. Follow me here. Because women, like pie, are irrational. <laughs> That's a math joke, motherfuckers. 3.14159. All right. Thank you, guys. You've been a spectacular. My name is Josh Maxwell. Josh Maxwell, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear it. We are down to your final comic, and I love having this guy go last because he's just, he's one of my favorite joke writers, and it, uh, I'm glad he's here for the second anniversary of the show. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very, he runs the open mic at Fallout, so go check that out on second and fourth Wednesday. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Josh Max, Ooh, oh my god, I, wrong, Joshua Saucier! Thank you, Jesse Thomas. <laughs> I, uh... <Ding. laughs> no, he's not here tonight either, dude. Um, really quickly, before I, uh, before I start, I, uh, they play a lot of good movies here, but Waiting, as a waiter, this is probably my favorite movie ever to watch. Like, it's not perfect, but it, I fucking love it. Uh, but for those of you who don't understand, there are two things you need to... Every single thing that happens in this movie, all right, all of it, the fucking penis showing game, the high kids out back, all of it, 100% accurate and true, except for two very important things. Seriously, the fucking nasty-ass, like, food sabotage, that does not happen, okay? That absolutely does not happen. I think it was inappropriate for them to put it in that movie. Also... Uh, every waiter in there would have already banged the 17-year-old. That should be <laughs> like, like, seriously, like, oh, no, 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 dude. All right, by 16, as a hostess, you were fucking used up trailer spunk dumps. Like, you're done, all right? Hostesses are not things that future college grads do. Um... I'd, uh, I'd apologize to any hostesses, but frankly, if you're still a hostess and you're allowed to be out this late and drink, uh, you didn't get that joke anyway. <laughs> um, I, uh, I realized, like, as I was walking up here that I was like, oh yeah, I did this joke, I did this joke, I did this joke. I'm like, oh wait, hold on. Um, 
I was out last night, and I have an awesome story for you guys that has nothing to do with jokes. Uh, I was uh, I was at Fallout last night doing a show, and um, my uh, one of my ex-girlfriends was there. Uh, we're friends, and it's fine. It's fun, and uh, the guy whose uh, apartment I'm staying at while we are uh, doing some temp work together um, was hitting on her all night, and. Uh, Towards the end of the night, uh, my ex walks up to me and says, Hey, I'm heading out, and um, I was going to give your friend a ride home, uh, just you know, on my way out. And I was like, my first thought was, well, we're going to the same place. I should say, oh, I'll come with you. And I was like, oh, wait, no, you know, they give him a ride home. Like, maybe that's something, you know, I'll be a good wingman. I was like, he lives a block and a half away from here. <laughs> She gave him, I'm serious, Fallout? <laughs> the apartment above Wonderland. <laughs> Not fucking kidding. Uh, and um, so I waited like half an hour to leave the bar, walked down to the apartment. Uh, it was locked. He locked me out. I was like, God damn it, dude. Like, you fucking knew I was coming. It's, it's two in the morning. We have got to be at work at 6 in the morning, like fucking, it's cold, let me in. I start calling him, I'm knocking on the door, I'm like, I don't care what I'm interrupting. Uh, I wound up sitting out there until 3 in the morning, uh, wondering, like, did he, like, fucking pass out in there? What's going on? And then I saw her car pull up into the alley. Um, I was like, oh my god, they're just getting here now. <laughs> Uh, and uh, they can pull up, park, and I'm like, that's her car, right? Yeah, no, I see them. And, they're and I watch as the windows fog up, <laughs> wait another half hour. Like, I can't, I can't go down now and be like, hey, dude, it's cool, just give me the keys. Like, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna wait. Finally, uh, 3.30 in the morning, he gets out, uh, stumbles up the steps. Oh, hey, man. Like, that's it. Just, I'm fucking sitting on the front porch at 3.30 in the morning, and he just got done banging my ex-girlfriend in a car in the alley behind his apartment while I waited. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> what are you doing out here? <laughs> I'm locked out. Oh, shit. Hey, what time is it? It's time to go to work. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's time to, it's time to get ready. It's morning. Uh, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. It's like, hey, um, why did it take you two hours to get a ride a block and a half? Oh, uh, we got lost. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's, uh, like I said, that, that didn't have, like, structure and a punchline. That was just my night last night. <laughs> uh... And the hour of sleep is why it didn't have structure and a punchline yet, so check back next week. Um, but I did, I, uh, I, uh, I'm all clean-ish shaven. Um, and uh, it's because I am, I'm, I'm doing some work. Uh, me and a couple friends of mine are uh, extras in some shitty like documentary that no one's going to see for a million years. Um, and... Uh, but we, we gotta get up like ass early in the morning and go out and do this shit. And I don't fucking like. I honest to God, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in a movie. Like I'm doing some extra work. It's cool. I'm like, oh, what's the movie? I'm like, I'm not like. You haven't seen it. We're still filming it, so I don't know what the what's the movie thing is. Oh, it's Prometheus. We're in Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. Um. And uh, I'm like, it's just, it's fucking nothing. And uh. I really don't know exactly what it is we're doing. I just like go up, get dressed, and stand where they tell me to. Uh, but somebody knows what it is because the first day we were on set, uh, there were protesters there. Like there were fucking, there were people with signs and Bibles like screaming at us as we parked the car. Like, ah, oh, this is wrong. I'm like, I have no idea why. Like, I don't know what we're making, and I don't really care. Uh, but so I get out of the car and I'm walking over to the set and a woman throws a Bible at my head. Right? Uh -uh. She threw a fucking Bible at me, okay? First off, I've read it, and I'm pretty sure it says you can't do that. <laughs> but see, here's my, this woman 
uh, did not understand one very simple thing. I am really good at dodgeball. Okay? I caught the Bible. Now she's out. And I think I get one of ours back in. So, what are we thinking? Hitler? You guys want Hitler back? Is that... I don't know which side he was on, actually. I should probably know that. Um, I think I'm related to him, actually, on the Jewish side. Because it's history. Um, no, but I am... I, uh, I am extremely tired. Like, I really did get an hour of sleep. I got two hours of sleep the night before. I was fucking standing in a field firing a musket all day. And, um... Part of it is, like, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be out and, like, actually doing shit. Uh, I'm trying to kind of get my shit together. I'm getting older, and I'm like, you know what? I'm fucking... I live like a college kid. Um, which is weird, because I dropped out of high school, so I don't really know how to live like a college kid. <laughs> Uh, but like I live, like I have the fucking futon mattress on the floor, not, not a futon, I have a futon mattress on the floor, uh, but I'm like, oh no, you know what, fuck that, I've got, you know, I'm working now, I'm actually making money, I'm not just, you know, working my finely honed craft for people at a bar who don't pay, uh, me, anyway, sorry, that was, that was mean, you can pay Austin though, that's cool. Um, and, uh, I've decided, like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking be an adult, right? So no longer do I sleep on the fucking futon mattress on the floor, all right? I do not just have some fucking futon mattress. I have upgraded. I got one of those, like, memory foam tops for it. <laughs> Figured next week I can afford a sheet. <laughs> just the one sheet, so it'll be, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I wrote Waiting Amy story. <laughs> yeah, her name was Amy, by the way, for those of you who were wondering. Um, I, uh, no, but in trying to, like, get my shit together, I said, alright, you know, clean my act up a little. I, uh, what I really need to do next, though, is uh, I need to, like, drop about 10 pounds um, and then pick it back up and just keep dropping it and picking it up over and over. <laughs> until I lose about 60 pounds. So I'll just be like regular fat at that point. Um, and I, I don't know, like I, I guess to an outside observer, I have kind of a shitty life. And I think it's because outside observers keep telling me I have a shitty life. But I, I wanna look on the bright side of things. Like I'm like, no, it's cool. I'm not out at a bar at one in the morning telling jokes because uh, I didn't get any fucking sleep and have no life. I'm, you know, doing something cool. This is a creative enterprise. That's awesome. Uh, I, uh, you know, sure, I'm a little overweight. I'm a little heavy. But being 40 doesn't seem that much fun, so I don't plan on making it there. <laughs> like, that's, I've got that going for me. Um... And I, uh, I actually, I read, uh, I read some really sound advice recently that, like, to get my shit together, I need to, I need to first, like, before I can be comfortable with other people, before I can, like, be in a relationship with someone, I need to just be comfortable with me, right? You guys know that. Like, I just, I need to be comfortable with me. That didn't take long. <laughs> Turns out I know me pretty well. Uh, so, if anyone's interested... I'm the fat guy who won't stop talking about how he's miserable. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm at a comedy show. That didn't help, did it? That did not narrow it down. Um, I, uh, all right, I, uh, I had some, some random shit, but uh, I don't know, this is, uh, this is one I like. Um, so I, I, li I think like about actual shit that matters. Um, I won't do anything about it, but I think about shit that matters. Uh, and I like words, all right? I, this is what I do, all right? I'm acting, I'm telling jokes, I'm writing. I like words. I understand how they work, what they mean, how important they are. Uh, and I spend a lot of time thinking about it. And I know, like, when I was a kid, uh, and I'm sure everybody in here, when they were a kid, maybe still, um, 
You know, when, when I didn't like something, I said it was gay. All right? Like, I was like, oh, that's just gay. And that's, that's not appropriate. Like, it really isn't. Everybody should know that. It's, I can't say that shit I don't like is gay because that's offensive to gay people. That's offensive to my gay friend Steve. Okay? I get that. Uh, but now, apparently, like, in the same thing, they're like, oh, you can't, you can't say retarded anymore, either. So I can't say that that shit's retarded? Well, no, it's the same thing. I'm like, oh, uh, I, guess, I guess it is. It's, it's offensive to retarded people. And, and my retarded friend Sally, no, 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 you can't call them retarded. Wait, what? They're not retarded, they're special. Well, if they're not retarded, why do they care what I call retarded? Like, if, if that's not them, like, what business is it what I call something else? I don't know. See, like, that's supposed to be the setup for, like, an offensive joke about words, and I feel like everyone's like, this dude needs to stop talking about retards. And I'm like, it's all downhill from retards. So if you're not comfortable now, uh, you need to let me know before I keep going. All right. I will take your silence as a vote of confidence. <laughs> because nothing means yes. <laughs> right? That's how that works. I really do not want to do the rest of this joke. It's going to be awful. Do it. So, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, fine. 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 All right. They, they made me do it. I am tired and I fucked up the beginning, but they are making me finish. So after this is over, you beat the shit out of them. Okay? That's me. Sorry. No, words have fucking meaning, all right? Like, not just, like, syllables. Like, it's not the sound of the word that means shit. It's what you mean when you say it. It's what's behind it, all right? If you use hateful words in a way that doesn't fucking make sense or that isn't hateful, then they're not hateful, all right? I can't call a woman a cunt because a woman is not a cunt. That is not appropriate. That is awful. A woman has a cunt, and that is a wonderful thing. A cunt is a beautiful, magical thing that I haven't seen in a couple of years. Right? That's fine. The word means different things when you use it different ways. All right? That's how words work. So I need someone in this room to explain to me why it's not okay for me to say that that nigger Mitt Romney needs to go back to Mexico. Right? Thank you, Austin. That's all I wanted. I'm leaving on the bell. Thank you very much. Uh, seriously, this was an hour of sleep. Crush dossier, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Guys, thank you so much for coming out to the stand-up at McCormick's Irish Pub second anniversary happy fun time show. God, we greatly appreciate all of you. We'll be back on uh, we'll be back on November twenty eighth. So have fun, like be safe. Uh, come back, tell your friends, tell your mama. Tip off in a lot of money for the love of God. Tip off. Give it up for Austin, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night. Right safe, guys.